Turkey A, nil. Portugal 3 and Asilesau are through to the round of 16. And not only that, they now top the group because uh, Takie were the only team that would have caught them. If Portugal lost their next game, they would uh, still have six points. Turkey have three. If they win, they would have six. But because goal difference is the first tiebreaker on top of... Uh, sorry, head-to-head is the first tiebreaker. Then goal difference... Portugal are beaten Turkey, so Turkey cannot overtake them. That means they are top, and they can rotate in the next game. Before we start, the revolution shall be televised. All the fans in Kenya, everyone in Kenya, stand up. Don't be left out. Yeah, so, yeah, Portugal made easy work of this game. We thought Turkey would give them a bit of um, a bit of a fight. Um, obviously, Ada Goulet didn't start the game because they say he had a bit of a nagging injury. And uh, Muldu as well didn't start the game. So, yeah, they were not the same team as, the, as, as in the first game. But the big change was Roberto Martinez switching back to a back four, which I think worked really well. Bringing in Paulinha was actually really good because now Pepe was moving and covering for the fullbacks who love going forward. Dalo, sorry, uh, not Dalo. Cancelo and Nuno Mench. So Pepe can cover for the left back and Palinha can cover for him in central defense. So I think that works really well. I, I believe that's what everyone wanted. That's the one change everyone believed made sense to everyone. And then um, up front, same people, Leao, Ronaldo, and Bernardo Silva. Bernardo Silva still kept coming back into the field of play. But even if he came back inwards, Cancelo had space on the outside. Um Bruno at times would run in that area and then Ronaldo as well would run into those channels. So I think there was way more balance in this team this time around. This game, they played with a lot more balance. They just knew what everyone was doing. First goal was Bernardo Silva. It was a great cutback. Um, it was about to get to Ronaldo, but then he misses it and the ball is directed towards Bernardo Silva who finishes in the corner to make it 1-0. And then a few minutes later, Taki decide that they're just going to shoot themselves in the foot and score one of the most hilarious own goals you'll ever see. Joao Cancelo did well to win the ball back. And as he was driving forward, he's trying to... He, he thinks Ronaldo is going to make the run. So he tries to place it for Ronaldo, but Ronaldo doesn't make the run. So then the defender, what's his name? The number four. Then as he's going back, he gets the ball and then just blindly, Akaidin, blindly plays it to the goalkeeper. Bayindi, the United goalkeeper, who is also coming out. So it was a bit of miscommunication on both on both their parts. I think Bayindir is, I mean, Akaidin, he should have just, he had so much time and space. You just turn. Keeper just tells you, you take the ball and turn. But also, again, that's a mentality thing. You see, if you're playing in a game where, or a coaching thing, game plan thing, like just give it back to the keeper at any, in any occasion. But then the fact that they're not on the same page means it was not a game plan thing. He just played it to the goalkeeper. As if that was an attacking, let's, let's just put an attacking center back there. Let's put Sergio Ramos, let's put Gabriel, let's put Laporte, let's put Ruben Diaz in that position. Their first instinct is to get the ball and turn and want to attack. You know, are you guys pressing us? I want to know if you're pressing me before I can give it to the keeper. And also, Keenan said something, shout out, Keenan said something on the live that as a defender, why are you passing the ball back to the middle of the goal, right? You either do it to the, to the left or the right side of the goal. So the goalkeeper is not in a situation like that. But anyway, um, at that point, game is 2-0. Um, and yeah, Portugal just went control. The one thing about this game is the ref decided he's just going to brandish yellow cards for everyone. Uh, Leao was booked as, for a second time uh, for simulation. First game as well was booked for simulation. This game as well booked for simulation. So he definitely misses the next match. It'd be interesting to see who plays in that position in their next game. And um, it was a chance also for the coach now to make changes. Palinha came off at halftime. Leao came off at halftime. Um, who came on? Ruben Neves came on. And Pedro Neto came on. So good playing time for the two of them. I believe like I believe that now that they're already qualified, the next game you'll probably see Diogo Jota a bit more. We'll probably see Dalo starting that game. Um, Antonio Silva, the young kid who came off the bench, even... Francisco Concesao probably starting that game as well. I don't know if Ronaldo will be benched. The guy wants to win every game and play in every game. So, Nafom uh, Folazema and Defanki, he can't be benched. The older statesmen must play. But yeah, all in all, it was a good performance. Third goal was... Um, I need to talk about the third, third goal, by the way. Ronaldo's great, great awareness up front. Like, just staying on the shoulder of the defender. And then once the ball is played, he's already, he's already turning and sprinting, right? Like... 
and he timed it to perfection. To perfection. To a T. He timed it to a T. Um, I need to give him a shout out. Where is it? Um, yeah, timed it to perfection. Uh, the ball came in. The defender missed it. And even as it was the one-on-one, he kind of looked up. He's like, hey, this one I'm going to score and laid it off to Bruno. But to be fair, they're looking up not to, like, go at the goat. <laughs> um, not my goat, people's goats. Not to go at him, but he had to look up to at least tell the, show the goalkeeper it's an option that I, I could score. But he laid it off to Bruno. Bruno makes it 3-0. Bruno was, a, was their top scorer in qualifying. He scores again. Um, I think that's a good sign for them. You know, just getting your regular goal scorers on the score sheet is a good sign. 3-0. They're now on six points. Takie are on three points. But as I said earlier, Takie can't catch them, which means Portugal now top the group and they are assured as group winners of Group F. Um, Yeah. I just want to know who, uh, who do they play in the... Let me check the bracket. So the winners of Group F... The winners of Group F uh, play the third in Group A, B, or C. So one of the third place teams in Group A, B, or C. So now at this moment, that's Scotland, Albania, or Croatia, Slovenia, or Serbia. That's who they're going to face in the round of 16. And yeah, all in all, a good day for them. Good day for Bato Martinez. Good day for Portugal. Aselesau are through to the round of 16. Peace.